need to up our game and shit. We need to do comedy butt naked. Right? <laughs> his goodbyes. He blew his eye socket off and his uh, eyeball fell out. White women keep kidnapping us. <laughs> Y'all seen the blind side. Aren't you uh, glad we have that disclaimer uh, at the beginning of the episode? I'm, I'm, I'm going to come in handy for this episode. This episode of the Voice Party Podcast is brought to you by Rich City Rides. Ride further, ride together. Get your ride on with Rich City Rides. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Voice Party Podcast. It's me, JD, here. I'm chilling in the middle of a fucking hurricane with uh, <laughs> Jose Contreras. What's up, dog? How hey, you doing? how's everybody doing? Up? And uh, we got Marcos here. What's up, Rocking man? the man bun. What's up, dog? How Dude, you doing? I'm happy to be back for, for one for episode. For one episode. This yeah. is it. You're done after yeah. this, dog. Yeah. We got Phil in the ones and twos. What's up, Phil? How you doing? What's happening, honkies? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got a very special guest. I watched this film uh, back in 20, what was it? I I saw it in 2019, and this story, like, it's kind of close to home a little bit for me. We have someone here who is actually portrayed in this film. Which film, JD? It's called Love, Sessie. There you go. Love, Sessie. Um, Everybody, make it real loud for Jay Cesar Garcia. Thank you, thank you. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Pretty good, man. This is your first podcast ever? This probably is. Really? Definitely. Have you ever done any kind of interview for anything at well, all? I have, but I don't think I'll call it too much of a podcast. Oh, okay. Right on, right on. Okay. Well, first of all, thank you for coming out, man, in, the, in this storm right now that we're having. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I figured I was like, let me just walk over there. And <laughs> get the umbrella. I'll just put it on my head. Yeah, exactly. Um, I hit you up about this because I, I, I've had Jay on the show, and... I also just wanted to get someone who who was in, involved in the story. Yeah, thought, of course. You know, um, going like just <clears throat> backtrack it. To, uh, so for the people that may have not watched the film, this is a, a, a story of something that happened in Richmond. Yeah. Uh, can I have you just explain it for everybody? Yeah, sure. Yeah. What um, <clears throat> exactly? What happened, or you want me to just? Oh, just a breakdown of the story. Like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like for the people that may not know what what the story is about. Okay. Right. So the story is about um, Cecilia Rios. Mm-hmm. I was the boyfriend at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, she actually wanted to become a lawyer. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. She, man, to tell you the truth, she actually took serious studying. Mm-hmm. I would play around. I would kind of like kind of mess her up in her studying. Yeah, yeah. She won't let me, you know. And um, the thing is that uh, not knowing what was going to come down her path, mm-hmm. you know, all her dreams got shattered after that happened. Um, that day, what I remember is the day before, me and her spoke about a lot. It's like... She was saying by without even knowing. You felt like that was, it was. It I was, didn't feel it at that moment. It was. But that's the way it felt because we talk about so much. We talk about family. We talk about getting married. We talk about how many kids. And um, the next day, you know, I picked her up. Mm-hmm. Uh, she was at a, uh, at a restaurant eating with her friends and um, took her home. <clears throat> As I took her home, you know, we were talking about uh, the, um, what is that, Metas? Uh, yeah, it's uh, like a scholarship. We were talking about Metas. Metas. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I was telling her how, you know, that I was mad at her at the beginning when yeah. she first spoke to me about it. I thought it was going to take a lot of time for me and her. Mm-hmm. And uh, then at the end, I kind of easy up, you know, I, I said, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to, just like she supported me, I'm going to support her. Yeah. And um, this was at Richmond High. This was, no, this was on the way home. On the way, oh, okay. Yeah. She actually was cutting school. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I told her I wasn't going to tell her mom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. And um, I was taking her home, and we were talking about it. And I told her I had a surprise, you know, because she always wanted me to do good in school, and she wanted me to graduate, which I thought at that time that was not for me. And um, uh, we parked, and then I told her to open the compartment. And she said, for what? I said, just open it. You know, she just looked at me. I don't know if she thought I had a gun in there or something, because she knew what I would, you know, yeah, yeah. what I do. And um, she opened it, and I told her to grab the piece of paper. She grabbed it, opened it, you know, and she got happy. I looked at her, you know. When I look back at the way she was looking, mm-hmm. 
it's like she was still saying bye. Mm. She was happy. Um, she said what she wanted to say. And I think it went like that for each and one of us, of her friends, her mom. And I say it because at the end, when everything happened, her mom gave me a letter that she wrote to me, but she did not give to me. She just left it, you know? Wow. And um, I just thought that she didn't know what was gonna happen. But she... But she left all this for us to know what she wanted in life, what she wanted to do, but someone was gonna take her out before anything. Wow. Mm. Yeah. That's, uh, that, that's the way I kind of see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the end. I, yeah. I felt like it was my fault for many years. Mm -hmm. The reason why is because she asked me to, to go with her because she wanted to go pick up a movie, which was a menace to society. Um, the VHS at the time, uh -huh. right? yeah. So she said, you want to come get the tape with me? And I was like, nah, I got things to do, man. And she was like, all right. And I just told her, but call me when you get back. She was going to a homeboy's house. And um, her sister came, and she was like, hey, Ceci, you know, mom said uh, it's time to eat. And then um, she, she asked me, I think she was trying to make me go with her. Mm -hmm. So she was like, you want to stay and eat? She knew if I stayed and eat, I was going to go with her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, nah, I just ate, man. I got to go. And she just looked at me like, all right, well. All right, I'll, I'll call you when I get back. I'll page you. Remember, we were... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll page you. 93, 94? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll yeah. page you. And um, I said, all right. I said, I'm just going to do a couple of things with the homies. I'll be back. She was like, all right, be careful. I said, all right. And she looked at me, and again, I would tell you that she looked at me with these eyes. Where at the, uh, Like I said, right when everything happened, I felt like she was still saying bye, but I wasn't getting it. And I think that when she was telling me, you want to go with me, it was like the last time. It's like I'm giving you a chance to say yes, go and save me. Mm. <clears throat> you know, that's the way I looked at it after everything happened. And of course I felt like that because I said no to her. Yeah. And I felt like that for many years. Many years, you know, until I, I realized that I, I had to let her go. You know, because I did suffer a lot from dreams, hearing really? her voice. I, I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, guys. This might sound weird, and this is some stuff you might see in movies like Ghost. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying I've seen her, mm -hmm. but her perfume. Mm -hmm. There'll be moments where <clears throat> I'll be walking, and all of a sudden there was a spot where, you know, I'm walking. Yeah. You know, sometimes, like, when you walk and you smell tacos. <laughs> you know, yeah. Ooh, tacos, de, you know, that's yeah. how. That's, how, that's yeah. how it smells when I sweat. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I will walk through the mall or, yeah. or you know, yeah. mm -hmm. let's say I'm walking through the block and all of a sudden that smell hits me. And I knew, and I still know what her perfume smells like, to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. And I'll stop and just smell it and just sit there, you know and just smell it until the smell is gone. Because it would just stay there for a minute. Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden it would just fade away. Now, I don't know if it was just me, you know, because of the trauma that I had yeah. from what happened. They call it like phantom smell, something like that. Right. That's like a term that they yeah. use to explain it, yeah. But me, I, you know, she was just looking after me. Yeah. That's the way I looked at it, yeah. you know. Because you, so you, 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 <clears throat> this happened, how old were you, 15? Uh, 17, I think. 17, and, uh, at the time, I mean, this was uh, early, what, 90, what was it? It was in uh, March of 94, 94, the first two weeks. It was uh, the 14th one. Mm. And after that, like, how, how was it for you, um, like, ra ra after that happened, after she? A after that happened, I kind of fade away from the homies. Yeah. Know? I try to do good. Yeah. But, you know, the streets got the best of me, mm -hmm. you know, and um, I went back. Yeah. That's Do you think same old thing? Mainly because of the pain that way you went back to the streets like No. One thing about me when I grew up in Richmond? Yeah. Um I don't know why but I wanted to be a gang member so bad. Mm. And there's a story behind that. Mm. 
The story behind that is when we migrated to California, mm -hmm. we lived in 6th Street. So my first school was period. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then from there, we left to L.A. It was probably about a year. Lived at my grand, uh, grandfather and grandma's house. You know, and um, it was over there by uh, South Central. Oh, 50, yeah. 55th in Avalon. Okay. And um, I was like four years old, man. I'm not going to lie to you. And I still can't forget this. It was this, uh, this barrio called Playboys. And I think it was Florencia. Oh, shit. I think it was Florencia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If it wasn't Florencia, it was 55th Bunch. Mm -hmm. 55th Bunch, which is another uh, barrio that runs uh, parallel uh, vertical to uh, where my grandpa lives or lived. And um, I was outside playing with the little cars in the dirt. When the dirt smells so good, if you wet it. <laughs> oh, I want to make yeah. it go down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, I, I heard some screaming and, you know, yelling. And when I turned around, I looked at these, it was like about six, seven of them, mm. beating up on one guy. I thought it was unfair at the moment, but when I looked at it, I'm not going to lie to you. I said, that's what I want to do. <laughs> I did. <laughs> it sounds kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. evil. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It sounds evil, but it boiled my blood at the moment. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. It Does that scare you as a child when you think back and you go, why was I thinking like that? It scares me when I look at my son. Yeah. Uh, or I look at my daughter. Yeah. You go, is that going to be them? Yeah. You know, it's <laughs> like, how could I think something like that when I was four yeah. years old, five years old? Yeah, yeah. You know? Or the fact that you could think of something like that yeah. when you're that young. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, from there, building a barrio was my thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. Instead of thinking building a business. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have the blueprint. Right? Pro project yeah. manager of the barrio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the CEO. Projects manager. Project. You know, and um, so when I came out here, mm -hmm. went to school with Jose and him. Yeah, yeah. And his sisters, Julissa. Mm -hmm. Which I love so much. Yeah, the cousins. They're very good people, man. I love them. So we might have been at the same parties growing up. Oh, yeah. Their house all I'm the time. pretty yeah, sure yeah. we were. <laughs> yeah. You know. And, um, yeah, from there on, that's what happened. Oh, well, and, um, you built the barrio out here. That's how I started. Yeah. Actually, um, <clears throat> VFL was one of the first uh, mm -hmm. barrios out here. One of the oldest ones here. Oh, yeah. yeah. So off of them, I kind of built up like a foundation. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, thick skin. Yeah, yeah. You know, they were like, you know, you little punks. <laughs> Right. So that kind of built up, yeah. you know, thick skin. And um, that's when uh, we decided to break off and head on and do our own stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was and two it, other homeboys. And it was notorious for... Oh, man. <laughs> we, we wanted to yeah. be respected. Yeah. So we went... Man, we was everywhere. Texas, yeah. San Francisco. We went to... Uh, poking the bear. What do you call like that? Poking yeah. bears everywhere, yeah. yeah. Even though our life was in danger. Yeah. Right. You know, Hayward or San Jose... You know, we would all the way to uh, Sacramento. Wow. We went to, uh, what is that? Uh, Oakley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oakley. We didn't even know that they, uh, nor, you know, just on tour. Out there. <laughs> on tour. <Yeah. laughs> like I said, instead of building a business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> we could have been on tour in business making money. Right. <laughs> right. We were actually hey, how old were you, uh, like teenagers, right? Like, I was, when I first started, to tell you the truth, um, I was about eight years old, man, to tell you. Dang. Okay. Eight years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My first tattoo, I'm not going to lie to you, which is a cross yeah. that you normally see. Yeah. In English, yeah. Yeah. At nine years old. Wow. Old. Yeah. Damn. And for a lot of people to hear that, it's like, now it's crazy, but back then, yeah. kids were out there. Out like there, that. yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Especially in, you know. We I, would walk around the streets. Yeah. Which were more dangerous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're dangerous now. Yeah. But yeah. they were like more dangerous before because of, you know, Back then, <clears throat> and shit. Uh, not only that, yeah. you had you, you had more of drugs out there. Mm -hmm. People using them. Yeah, the yeah. park, Fourth Street Park. Oh yeah, was really bad. I live there. There you go. I live right by um, uh, La Perla. Oh, there you go. Door, yeah. Oh, Perla I would was say one of the too best. more of the personal. Like we don't have, like they didn't, have, you know, we didn't have social media back then and stuff like yeah. that. Like phones and stuff weren't a thing. So when kids were forced to play outside yep. on a daily basis, you were also getting in trouble, more. getting in trouble with the wrong people. It was easier to get in with the wrong people because yeah. your parents didn't know what you were doing from 8 a.m. to mm -hmm. 4 p.m., 5 p.m. Whenever dinner was, you know, whatever yeah. the lights come on. So like <clears throat> you were, you were a free for all. Yeah. And 
if you know if the homeboys got a hold of you and were like, hey, let me show you some stuff, young buck. <laughs> you know, yeah. you're, you're right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It, 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 that's why it was scarier. Now you know kids are like probably less likely to go outside, and and if they are getting in with the wrong people, it's easier for you as a parent to find out, mm -hmm. right? Because yeah. word gets around way Tracking faster. Tracking devices right? on them. Tracking devices. Let me see where he at. <laughs> you know that bull's not supposed to be over here yeah. at this, especially at this time. <laughs> I'm gonna him. I know. I you know, I built that street. <laughs> Green light that guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you so you guys went around just on a WWF on a, tour on a WWF kicking ass. ass. <laughs> Here comes Cesar with the chair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go flying that guy. So and that, uh, we just wanted we just wanted to put our name out there. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. was pretty much out there. And pretty it was. Yeah. It was. Especially at the time. Like yeah. you saw that, you know, like it was um, and it wasn't, I'll tell you one thing, it wasn't good, yeah, you know, yeah. because what we didn't know is that we were building enemies that right. in reality, if we was out there with a girlfriend or something, yeah. they, they, it was they, fair game for, for caught, caught us slipping. Yeah. And back then, some of us did, some of us didn't have respect when you were with someone, mm -hmm. you know, like a mom or something, but most of the time we didn't, Yeah. you know. It depends who the person was. Yeah. You were know, the rules me, starting to change a little bit at that point where you started seeing like... Because I, I, what I heard, right, mm -hmm. was that, like, in the streets, if you weren't involved in the streets, usually you weren't targeted necessarily, right? Mm -hmm. Like, if you're, if you're family, <clears throat> per se, like, they yeah. weren't involved in it, nothing, they're pretty much off limits. But then you start yeah. seeing the new generation being like, I don't care. Yeah. We're, well, we're tapping into everything. Yes and no, you would have to have that color. Yeah. It was okay. all about the color. That was a, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, and even this little small thing. I remember that sometimes I, I you know, I you hear like some dude was wearing the wrong color at at El Tapatio mm -hmm. and homeboy was stripped naked. You know, <laughs> like yeah. like they beat him up and then just ripped off all his clothes. Like that stuff like that was happening uh, pretty often. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One, one question that I have as as a naive, uh, even though I got cousins and shit and yeah, bang yeah. and all that. Did it ever feel limiting in your wardrobe to have to stick to you know blue or red all the time? Because now I see uh, now the famous Crips and Bloods. You be like I, I, I bang red, but I'm wearing all blue, and I'm yeah. like I didn't I didn't know they could do that shit. How I does a, that work? I have a joke about well, that. Well, it changed through the years. That's what yeah. it was. Okay. okay. And and remember, um, Crips and Bloods actually had got together after what happened with Running King. Running King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know it, it's you know. It had to happen. Yeah. Right. It's like mo 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 most of the gangs, the Sureño gangs, we had to stop gangbanging against each other. You know, it was like a... Because uh, yeah, it was everybody, not just... Yeah, it was everybody against everybody. But right. if you keep in mind, we was tearing up each other. Yeah. 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 And we come from the same it, it, right. yeah. barrios. Mm -hmm. And it didn't matter. You guys were both blue. Like, they were yeah. still beefing with each other. Because it, it was just the clicks. Yeah. We wanted our click to be the best. Right. You know? Even though we were from the same barrio. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You, you see what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, let's say click RST... And we had a click in Central. We had a click in the South Side. You know, um, we had a we had to come to a peace somehow. Mm, yeah. yeah. When when this happened, uh, when this happened with Tessie, at the time there was a lot of tension with, between the gangs, right here. They were. Yeah. But I didn't think it was gang related, mm. okay. even though as a gang member, we didn't do that, yeah. and I didn't think they did that. Yeah, because mm. this crossed that, the lines. That, that informed. It was demented uh, more right. so. That informed me. I did think it was like a bum, you know, mm. uh, yeah. a homeless person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then the way that it looked, it was more like a message. Mm. Now I don't really speak on mm -hmm. what happened. Yeah, right, but for sure. what cost it was, you know, um, and again, this is why I feel like it was my fault. Because the guy wanted to target me, mm. not as a gang member. Let me explain this. He was obsessed. He wasn't gang related, right? No. No. Okay. Uh, he was obsessed with her. Mm. <clears throat> so, do you get when a person says, you know, well, if you can't, if I can't have her, you can't either. Yeah. Right. And I think that's what he did. Uh, wow. You know, but I don't think he wanted the way I feel. Mm. This is my my yeah. you know, your I, perception. Um. I don't think he wanted to hurt her that bad, but I think it came to that when he was doing what he was doing, that he knew he was going to get in trouble for him. Yeah. So, so he, he couldn't stop. Yeah. He fell out of options. And I don't think that was his first time. Oh, wow. Mm. He, he'd done that before. I, because for yeah. a person to do that, mm -hmm. you will have to do it. And the way he... Excellent. I don't know how you guys have been told that this happened, 
I, yeah. I, but, I'm, I'm unfamiliar yeah. myself. Yeah. But he left her there, took off, and then he came back and finished her. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, that day, when I was told <clears throat> by her mom, she called me and she was like, you know, um, please tell me that she's there. And I was like, what are you talking about? She said, my daughter. I said, and she was crying. Mm -hmm. And as a parent, as a mother, um, I think moms, they feel so much for their yeah. kids. Yeah, yeah. You know, either her son or, or the daughter. Because she told me straight up, she's not here no more. And I said, don't say that. Don't say that. You know, I, I, I'll get up right now. I'll go and look for her. Just give me a minute. Let me, let me get myself straight. So what I did is, you know, I was pissed, you know, again, blood boiled. Yeah. All I thought about, she was with her friends. She had this group of friends. <clears throat> they were so cool. I thought they were nerds, <laughs> right? Yeah. I should have been one. Yeah. Um, and uh, I said, man, I'm going to tear these guys up when I see them. So I got into my drawer, grabbed my, you know, here, here. my two pieces, mm -hmm. and um, I took off. Sure. I messed up because I went and parked down the street from her house. Her parents were outside. I seen, every, I seen her, her brothers, cousins, and they were looking around, and then I think they pointed at where I was at. What I was doing is waiting for, you know, for her to pull up with her friends. I said, once she get off the car, I'm going to start busting. <laughs> you know, these guys going to pay for what they did to her mom. But, you know, I was, I was thinking a totally different way. Mm -hmm. You know, I was thinking gangbang and stuff. Yeah, yeah. right. Um, but it wasn't like that. You know, it's um, <clears throat> her mom and her dad, you know, was coming towards the car. So I got off and um, walked up to him. She was crying. You know, she was devastated. Dad was just like, I think he was still staying positive about it. Mm -hmm. But the mom, it's like the mom. She knew. She felt. Yeah. And she was like, she's not here no more. And, and I was like, I'm... <clears throat> I'm going to go to the school, and I'm going to see if she's there. She said, no, don't go there. Don't go there. It's too dark. And um, so I didn't go. I listened. Something I don't do, usually do, I don't listen. Um, I didn't go, and that's where she was at. Down her. And down her. That's where she was at. Oh, no. You know, and we passed through there, me and her dad. I'm not going to lie to you. We passed through there like about five to six times. Since she was just a couple of feet from her. So we passed through, felt, through the car. Yeah. With the car. <clears throat> and um, we, we did not know she was there. Again, like I said, like a mother, not knowing that she was going to be there, you know, mom found her. Mom found her. That you guys portrayed that in the film, the mom, yeah. the mom found her. She just kind of had a, a feeling that... Yeah. that we just clarified with Jay that we didn't want him to put more than what he wasn't supposed to. Yeah. Because Jay wanted to, I mean, if, if you know Jay, Jay wants to put the whole thing in there. Yeah. And that's something I told him I, I yeah. wasn't. And I told him that he, need, he needed permission from the parents. Yeah. And I don't think the parents wanted either. Yeah. You know. how, did, how did that go? Like when, when you guys were approached to do this film, like how did, how did, uh, did he it was tell a, you uh, first or did you tell the family no, first? He, well, he came to me first. Okay. Someone called me and said, hey, you know, there's this guy that wants to know about you and who's the guy? And just so people know, Jay's the filmmaker that so, yeah. made that. Yeah. We've had him on the show too. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which claims that's his story when it's not his story. To tell you the truth, let me clarify that. Okay. He always says that that's his story and this is not a story he made. This is something that happened in real life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's something that, you know, I kind of always was burning up when he would say something. It's my movie. No, it's not your movie. That's someone's life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's someone's life. That was not your movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and when he says things like that, it burns me up. I never told him anything, but inside me, to tell you the truth, yeah. it, it did. It burned me up, you know. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> again, you know, he reached, uh, he gave that person the number, mm -hmm. and the person gave it to me. And I left it like that for like a month or two. You know, like, I don't know what this fool wants. I don't even know if that's somebody that's trying to get me <laughs> yeah. from back in the day. Uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I ended up calling because the girl that gave me the number, um, she said, hey, he said, are you going to call him or not? 
And I looked at her and I was like, you know what? Tell him to F himself. He don't tell me what to do. Yeah. I'll do it when I want. Yeah. No, 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 no. Don't get mad. I'm just telling you. Yeah. So we well, already know me. You tell him. I don't know what she told him. Right? <laughs> <laughs> probably, I'm not going to tell him. Yeah. So <clears throat> I'm not going to lie to you, man. It's one day I was at the YMCA. Yeah. You know, I, I started working out. Normally I would work out in my house. Yeah. I started working out at the YMCA for the oh, first time in the first time. Yeah. Yeah. And I heard somebody screaming, oh, ah, ah. And I'm like, man, this person, if they don't shut the F up. So I walked over there. I looked over inside the room. And guess who it was? Jay. Jay. <laughs> I'm like, why is this guy screaming like that? <clears throat> well, he was a Sumba class uh, oh, teacher. Oh, yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah. Okay. And I don't know if, you know, that's the way he does his, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, and, uh, his performance. Yeah. <laughs> Not, not meaning to talk about him. You yeah, know. Yeah, it was yeah. just, to me, it was funny. Right, right. <laughs> and I was like, man, that fool need to shut the hell up. <laughs> Let me work out right here with this, you know. And um, when I called him, yeah. I didn't know that was him. So he knew I was going to that gym. He didn't, he didn't tell me. Mm. Oh, shit. So it just happened. It tripped me off because he could have came up to me. Mm. Yeah. But then he did tell me I was scared to come up to you. I mean, look at the way you look sometimes, your face. <laughs> I mean, what, am I supposed to laugh every day or something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he said that's why he told the girl yeah. to tell me. Um, after that, I said, you know what? If you talk to the parents and they okay it, yeah. because I'm only the boyfriend, yeah. remember? Mm -hmm. I was only the boyfriend. Right. I'm nobody to say yes to it. I'm not going to agree to anything that their parents don't feel comfortable with because I love their parents. Mm -hmm. Their parents love me. You know, mm -hmm. they... they Still see me as, you know, yeah. their son. Um, There's a high level of respect. Oh, yeah. Them. Yeah, man. When I see them, we hug each other like, you know, like crazy. Yeah. You know, and. Like, like nothing said, happened. Yeah. You know, but I know we both, I do, like something's missing mm -hmm. between us. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And you guys know what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. Um, <clears throat> but when we see each other, it's like a, a, a very joyful moment. Mm -hmm. You know, they love my kids. You know, and they love my family. Um, but yeah, I guess he reached out to the parents, you know. And they okayed it. And they okayed it. They gave him full access to the. Not full access. Not full access, yeah. but like access to like some of her diaries yes. and stuff, right? Yeah. Yes. You know, it got so personal where I couldn't really speak too much to him about my life. Because mm -hmm. Jay is a person that, you know, the more he knows about you, the moment he cuts you off, he'll tell it off. So I had to be careful with him. Mm -hmm. And I really don't care if he hears this, you know, to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. He knows that, you know. And um, I would just limit him to certain things. And, but he would ask me, so, hey, why you never spoke about your dad? Nobody knew you had a dad. Well, <clears throat> you guys tell me from your own opinion. If your father never knew your teachers, if he never went to a back to school night, mm -hmm. if he never cared about your education, if he never gave you a dollar to buy you, I don't know, some chips or a gum, piece of gum or something, if he never, you know, was there for you, if he didn't buy you shoes, if he didn't buy you clothing, if he didn't feed you, why would you claim him? Yeah. To me, why would I claim him? Yeah. Valid. Valid. Yeah. yeah. So. I only gave him so much. Mm -hmm. He wanted me to like talk about, you know, like my family, like what he did to my mom, you know, was it domestic? I said, no, yeah. but there was an altercation between me and him. I gave him a little story. Yeah. So. Especially since this is not about like, it's not about not me. Right, yeah. right. So I told him that we, can we limit as much as I can? You know, can For I you. just, so he said, well, look, this is a problem that everywhere I go, Jay said, Everywhere I go and ask people about you, they don't know nothing about you. I said, so why would I tell, my, why would I tell people about me? <laughs> right. You know? Yeah. yeah, all they know is Sharky. Yeah, that was that's your all. Name. That was your name in, uh, yeah. back in the day, Sharky. Yeah. yeah. Can you give me something I can work with so the people can know why you was doing what you were doing? I said, well. <laughs> like, nah, dude. <laughs> I'll give you 
like a half a percent, yeah. Yeah. which was just that. Trying to get ready for the prequel. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> His origin story. Right? Sharky. Yeah. yeah. Sharky. yeah. Right. Aquí, inclusivo. <laughs> um, Clica on tour. <laughs> Clica on tour. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, so I, to- I told him a little piece. Yeah. You know, yeah. I never spoke about what my mom really went through mm-hmm. yeah. with the person that called himself my father. Um, not even the person that calls himself my carnal, which you probably know him. Yeah. Raul Garcia. Mm-hmm. I think so, yeah. Um, knew that I had a father, you know. He asked me, too, why he never told me about him when he seen the movie. Mm-hmm. He said, I didn't even know you had a dad. Uh-huh. I said, why would I want to say something yeah. about a man that was never there in my life, mm-hmm. you know, that preferred the streets and, and, and the alcohol and stuff like that, and, mm-hmm. you know, over, yeah. over his kids. So um, the part that I told uh, Jay um, was that there was a time where I wanted to kill my own dad. And, I, and I actually, it was real life. But it didn't happen the way he put it's it. It's in the movie a little bit, right? No. Okay. Well, what he, what he like did. Like there's it, some a, a element of it. The, the way he, yeah. he portrayed it was not the right way. Okay. You know, it, actually, what happened um, was in the parking lot. Hmm. And all I had in mind, I had my gun in the back. I was going to go out there, argue with him, beat him, and finish him off. With a, with, a, with a shot to the head. But, <clears throat> now I don't know if it was my conscience. I have uh, three sisters and four brothers. Wow. Now, at that moment, I only had two sisters hmm. and my two brothers. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> when I was going to do what I wanted to do, there was like a voice behind my head. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. But for the first time, I'm not going to lie to you, I seen him fear somebody. Wow. Because he was an ass. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know if I can cuss him. No, you can. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, he was a motherfucking asshole. <laughs> That's what he was. Yeah. Uh, macho type. I mean, the, kind, the, the macho type that had that wide back, mm-hmm. big old hands, mm-hmm. that would have smacked yeah. the damn near your teeth will fly out. The whole, <clears throat> the whole, the light straight hands, man. <laughs> you know, and you know he had that Mexican belt. Yeah, yeah. He had that Mexican belt that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he, before he even said, "I'm gonna hit you," you were already crying. Right. <laughs> you know, for no reason, for no goddamn reason. Yeah. So, because he did, he kind of put not a lot of that, but he. he yeah. I, 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 as a filmmaker, I guess he was probably trying to find a way to. Yeah. You know, but it's also if, as a human <laughs> if you don't want that part to be shared I, I understand where you're coming yeah. from yeah and i really didn't <clears throat> so he portrayed it as the way he wanted to mm-hmm. i did have i did want him to do it the way it was but because of the way he was making it mm-hmm. making the film it had to fit in a certain way where to right. him it made sense right i'm no filmmaker yeah. so i just let him do his job yeah right and that's what i said to myself i'm gonna back off from that i'm just gonna give him a little something and if he wants to work his magic, that's the way he's going to do it. Right. Me, I, I, in reality, I didn't want, you know, any part of that. Yeah. I was there when he was filming in some parts, you know. Was, was there regret for you after this movie came out? Did you, or did you feel anything of like, I you know, I maybe... I wish I wouldn't have done it. Maybe I, I wish I wouldn't have said anything. Maybe I wish I would have not consented to... The idea of this movie being made. To tell you, and to this day, I haven't consented. Oh shit! I haven't signed anything. I didn't do anything. Well, you had to. You had to <clears> verbally <throat> consent to something at least. You, did you sign one of these? Or? No. No. Oh. But like the fact that the movie came out, like. Well, it was different because it's like it's an independent film. Yeah, right. and, and, that, I, that's and what I, that's what I mean by like verbal consent. Like if you were there watching him, and then that's what I mean by the regret after being like, okay, this didn't come out nearly like I thought it was going to come out. Yeah. And so now I regret this kind of like... That it's out there? That it's out there. Because it wasn't told it wasn't told correctly in your right. eyes. But nor would you, again, would you want all the details because... Of- I don't regret. I don't regret. But I don't like that every time he has a, uh, a premiere. Uh, oh yeah, screening. A screening. screening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If people just knew how much of a liar he is. Uh, oh shit. Okay. Okay. 
And again, I don't give a fuck yeah, yeah. if he sees this. <laughs> he can come to me and tell me. Yeah. <laughs> You can come to me and tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you at? <laughs> give us, give us. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> he knows. Anyway, when they ask him questions, I wish he was more honest. Mm -hmm. Where did you get this idea from? I know where he got the idea from. I'm not going to say it. He didn't get it because when he was, he says, when he was eight years old. Come on, man. No, you didn't. Mm -hmm. You did not hear about her when you was eight years old. Yeah. At all. <clears throat> and he needed another project, mm -hmm. for what I know, and that's true. So he needed another story to tell. Mm -hmm. And this was a, uh, at the time, this was like a big thing that happened, like where, when, when it did happen. I remember I was, yeah. a, I was a little kid and I remember hearing it uh -huh. and it was like a, you know, like a cautionary tale almost right. for some kids. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Of course. Um, again... I don't agree when they, he says it's 90%. No, it's not 90%. Mm -hmm. It's more like... 75. About. 60. Yeah, about. Because if you, if you, really, if you, catch, if you really look at a movie mm -hmm. and you're really looking at the details, I was not driving a 96 Impala, goddammit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you guys catch that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 94. Yeah. It was 94. Yeah. Why was I driving a 96 Impala? <laughs> yeah. And, and, and what pissed me off is that I told them, Hey, it was at 82 where I was teaching her. Right. That was a beautiful moment to me. Yeah. As a matter of fact, when I was teaching her how to drive. Yeah. So that happened. Oh no, yeah. Okay. I wasn't gonna let him put something that did not happen. Okay. Good. Good. No, that was true. Okay. Because okay. okay. that's what I liked about this film, man. It's like a. Uh, this is a good homage to mm -hmm. uh, your, you know, your girlfriend that you were really in love with. It seems like back then, yes. you know, like you guys were deeply in love, and this like. That's what I did like. Well, before someone <laughs> comments on your show or say something dumb. Yeah. I was an asshole. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you know, I wasn't the best boyfriend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how to be a boyfriend. 17 years old. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I was just a teenager yeah. thinking <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was the greatest guy out yeah. there. You know, yeah. um, you're the king of the world. The most toughest goddamn teenager. Yeah. yeah right. That no one can put me down. Yeah. You know, um, so, but we, you know, she softened me off a lot. Mm -hmm. She did. Because what she wanted is what she got. She wanted me to graduate. And I actually got to do it. Wow. Nice. You know, not the way I wanted because I felt like a dumbass at the end anyway. <laughs> because my counselor, I never seen who my counselor was. Yeah. I knew the name. Yeah. She never wanted to see me. And she came up to me at the end. And then she said, I'm so glad you graduated. I'm thinking she was proud of me. <laughs> She said, because I was so scared of you. Oh, wow. I actually told the front desk that if you come in with a problem, to tell you that I was in vacation. Uh, so when she uh, told me that. Disrespectful. Uh, I don't think she meant it like in a bad way, but I did take it the way you said it. Disrespectful. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I should have done a uh, WWF on her. Uh, <laughs> drop kicker. <laughs> ah! But I understand where she was coming from. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you, yeah. she reads my file that I knocked out a principal <laughs> right. and hit the one in El Cerrito with a bat. Oh, right. wow. I mean, I would hey, be I, like, I would have been on scared. vacation, too. Yeah. Been. <laughs> you definitely have to look at your, your past self and be like, I put myself off as an intimidating person. Mm. People were definitely intimidated by me. Well, yeah. You yeah, know that what was mean? a word. And then you, like, <laughs> that was a word. Th that's the, yeah, that's yeah. the part of like growing up where you have to be like, Oh, okay. I get it. Yeah. I get it that I wasn't the easiest person to be around. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, no, I mean that. So that's why I understood what you yeah. said. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And, right. and, and that's a, that's a thing. Like you said, she softened you up a, a yeah. little bit. I heard that about her, that she would do that. Like, uh, like to my cousin, uh, Jose, that uh -huh. he would be in class and, you know, without something, without paper. And she yeah. would. Hey, here's some paper and your pens. Get to work. Like, yeah. you guys got to do your. She was school. all about school, man. Yeah, she was, all about she was a good, good, good-hearted person. Like, yeah, you know, she. I'm, I'm glad I never distracted her. You know. Yeah. As her boyfriend. Yeah. You know, our boyfriends distract or girlfriend distract. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. We can distract each other. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that I never distracted her. She kept going. She, you know, she. Kept she was going on top of what it. What she wanted to do. Yeah. She was. Doing, she was good at doing good in yeah. school, right? Like that. Yeah. Was oh yeah. Great. Yeah. And um, back to what you said about the regret. Um, this is why I say I don't think I regret because people know her story. You know, what I said was true mm -hmm. and what was filmed was true. Yeah. It's just some parts that I told them that I didn't like, like the car that I was driving. Mm -hmm. 
I did tell him I wanted to be an 82 Camaro because it was an 82 Camaro. Yeah. I had bought it from my aunt, which took it back when I put rims on it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was an 82 Camaro, and this is why she couldn't reach the, the pedal. Oh, yeah. Because okay. the Camaros, scene. they're yeah. so they're way so up. Long. Yeah, yeah, they're so long yeah. that she Funny. couldn't. Yeah. yeah. You know, so she had to come up the seat. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> kind of push it. And yeah. it would crack me up that she was doing that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it was one of my one of my greatest moments with her. And yeah. it's such an important part of the memory. Yeah, it was. You know, yeah. it, it's, it sounds like such a small detail. When yeah. you say it to anybody, yeah. But like, if you're saying, like, if you're telling the story of anything, you know, it could be like where we got our first big break as a podcast or something. Mm-hmm. We were in this building, or we were in another building. You know, it that is, that yeah. place has that specific place has it's, a yeah. special, especially hold considering on that how memory. things ended up. I mean, unfortunately, yeah. how they ended up. Like, right. Uh, for you, after that, like, um. Because you mentioned you have kids now, so like, you know, yeah. I mean, but I, I imagine, I can't even imagine what going through something like this at a young age, you know, especially when you're that young love. And that's what, like, I will say, like, I did love how he captured the young love mm-hmm. essence of uh, you guys were young and in love and like talking about the future together. Like, I did love that aspect of it. But when it comes to like, um, for you afterwards, how hard was it to like? Do move, this, move forward. Move forward like yeah. a, new, a new partner. Well, I kept it shut for a long time. Shut. You, you know, I, I kind of, sh- I kept it quiet. Oh. I won't really say nothing. I won't really say much. I was crying a lot at, at the time. Yeah. I was really crying a lot. You know, I would get in my car and oh. just start, you know, breaking down. Yeah. Um, and I didn't want the homies to see me like that. So I kind of backed off the homies a lot. Mm. You know, I'd go in my room, just sit there thinking about what I could have done. Yeah. What I wanted to do to him, you know. And, to, uh, to the dude. Mm-hmm. Wow, I can't even imagine. You know, and... um. Do you wish that you would have opened up to the homies more a little bit, or was that just not something that you... No, uh, uh, when, when you... When you... A gang member... Mm-hmm. I'm naive. No one wants to see you soft. Yeah, okay. You know, okay. you... The, you know, I'm gonna tell you like Devo told that, that, was that so what's the name? <laughs> Stop being a bitch and come on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> was that, that scene in uh, American Me then? You got a lot of heart card now. Yeah, maybe too there much. You go. <laughs> maybe too much. So that was a that was a no go. That the, was in yeah. the game world. No. That was no. Okay. You can't really show that much because then that's uh, to them. Uh, it was weakness. Yeah, yeah, it's weakness. You know, and it's that's how you're supposed to roll with us. Yeah, weak. Yeah. In, in moving okay. forward, have have you took it upon yourself to get in, to do therapy or anything to kind of unload this, or or do you write, or what kind of things do you do to kind of keep your mind at peace, uh, especially with helping move forward, to get you married with children and whatnot? Mm-hmm. How did you get I, to that point? I didn't do no therapy, even though my kids do ask me, Dad, do some therapy. Hey, it's One a of cheat my- code, man. It's a cheat <laughs> code. Yeah, and, and you know, like you said, I think my therapy. Are my kids? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. In reality, yeah, yeah. like I said, I didn't have a father. Yeah. Um, you know how a kid always wants that kiss goodnight mm-hmm. or goodnight mijo. You know, I love you yeah. or, or read me a story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I think my therapy was doing that with them, but it would make me cry sometimes because I was feeling it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like I was going through it with them, not only as a father, you, but yeah. but what I wanted as a little kid. Yeah. Yeah. You know. You were doing and, what you missed. And yeah. You know, and, and that's how I became a father. I didn't know how to be a father. Mm-hmm. And, and that's how I became a father. Yeah. And, and, and I was liking the, the, the fact that, they, you know, I see them go to sleep in peace, you know, and, and that was kind of like making me cry in a joyful way, not in a sad, where I was understanding, okay, I didn't even need a father. No. You know, I didn't need a father. Mm-hmm. To be a good father. To be a good father, yeah. yeah you know, and I, I don't get how many of us out there maybe say, well, I don't know how to treat my kid. I didn't have my father. <laughs> you know, that can happen to a lot. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But sure. I think I use that as therapy, you know. To and, heal yourself. Yeah. Your, your younger self. Yeah. Yeah. Like right now, I got grandkids. Oh, man, I love them. You got yeah. grandkids? Yeah. Four. Whoa. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Four grandkids. And I love them, man. They're so beautiful. Yeah. You know? And, and to see them, it's like watching my kids again. Yeah. And like I said, what, was, what I do with them, I feel it. And it's like me being a kid. Mm-hmm. You know? But at the same time, I'm a father. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and doing it with my kids and feeling good about it. Yeah. Does that make sense? That's a beautiful explanation. So I figured I didn't, I didn't need therapy. 
But sometimes my kids uh, want me to have therapy, mm -hmm. right? Because um, they said, you know, all the stuff that I went, they didn't know that. Oh, by the way, they didn't know until they seen the movie. Wow. Oh, wow. They didn't know their dad was a gang member. Wow. Oh, so you hid that pretty well. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just thought that telling my kids at a certain age, they were going to understand more. Mm. Sure, sure. Especially as, as like, when they're older they get. Yeah. I can't tell my kids at nine years old or six or five, no. hey, you know, your dad was a... Time for your oh, tattoo, mijo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, but it goes back to what you said earlier. It's like, what if my kids, mm -hmm. if they think like me when I was eight or four, yeah. and you're like, oh, I'm not, I'm trying to do everything that mm -hmm. my dad didn't do. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And you know, and, and, and I thank God to tell you the truth that my kids are not the way that people told me they were going to be. Mm -hmm. You're going to pay for everything you did. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. your kids are going to come out just like you. Yeah. Yeah. But then I thought to myself, me as, you know, I, I'm a believer, and, and though it looks like I'm probably not, but I do believe in him a lot, right? Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I ask myself, you know, why will you do this to my kids? Why are you giving me your, the kids and you're going to make them go through it? Yeah. It's not their fault what I did, you know, punish me. That's the way I would think. Yeah. You know, I never took in consideration what family members or people said to me. You know, your kids are going to pay for it. Yeah. Done, you know, yeah. what, you, what you did out Karma, there. That's gonna... But you know what? No. No, I, I, my kids, they're not the best, but <laughs> I'm going to tell you one thing. <laughs> the oldest, she's married to this great guy. You're awesome. You know, the second one, you know, she's, she graduated from uh, Irvine. Nice. Wow. You know, she stayed out there too after that, which I was mad, but she's back. Yeah. Okay. She's back. And she's, she's finishing school over here. Cool. Um, and I'm glad that I always sat around with them at the table mm -hmm. to eat. Yeah, yeah. You know, and they still do to this day. People don't know how important that is. Oh, man, very important. Me and my family didn't realize how we stopped doing that when I was a kid. And then when the pandemic hit, we were all together again. And yeah. every night we ate dinner together. Yeah. And then since then, we've been doing it since. Even though we all, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure it happened with you guys. Yeah. Even though some of you guys were probably mad. Or, oh, yeah, yeah. You that have... would just come up with something yes. goofy. <laughs> yeah, some yeah. arguments once in a while. But... Oh, you left your clothes at the bathroom. I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but it was important mm -hmm. to have that. Yes, it was. Yeah. And you see it trickling down. Oh, yeah. You're going to see it trickle down with your grandkids. Yeah. You're going to see it with their, you know, in generations. Well, that's what I told them. I told my kids, I, I hope you guys, you know. Continue. Don't continue stop. Continue doing this stuff because yeah. even if I'm not here. Yeah. This is what I want. You know, I love them. I'm a cook. I love to cook. Hell yeah. Okay? Because my mom worked three jobs, so we had to learn. We had to push yeah. ourselves to cook and clean and all this stuff. You know, mom was always honest, even if we didn't have a father. She was, she was that father and, and that mother. You know, she had, five she had jobs. a lot of work. Five jobs, really. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And when I didn't do something, believe me. Oh, yeah. It, 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 it would rain punches. <laughs> <laughs> she should have been a boxer herself. <laughs> but she was the greatest thing that ever happened to me, to tell you the truth. Right. So when I used to smell her breakfast, it's why I love doing breakfast. Mm -hmm. You know? That's I love cool. doing breakfast because I want my kids to wake to up. Wake well, up. the ones that I just left. The, the, the ones that are left now. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. So, but yeah, um, no regrets. Yeah. You know? And um, it's a beautiful film. Yeah. And it For came sure. out to a love story, to tell you the truth. That's what it came down to, which, which when Jay told me that. Yeah. Yeah. He was it, it's straight up, like, it's a good love letter to your partner. Like, that's how I feel when I watched it. Like, this is a, uh, if I was, if I loved someone, like, it, it, is, it is a good, especially, like, you know, unfortunately how things ended up for her. Um, I recommend you guys watch it. Yeah. It, it's, you know, it is hard to watch. And every person at that screening I went to, tears in the eyes and that's just that's one of those movies yeah. that gets you and i feel like i like the one thing i did i, I gotta say I, I like that they did with this is they didn't they didn't glorify the the guy the guy he's 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 shown like as a shadow almost yeah and that's that was good and they show what i mean i don't know did they get her part right did they get her her essence, essence in it you know what was so amazing about the actress yeah the height and if you look at the pictures, she favors her. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the way. Same, same height. Wow. You know, and um, I thought we was pretty blessed with that. Yeah. With the actress. Yeah. 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 Even though the guy, <laughs> it, I don't have dimples. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, the guy so looks... kind of looks like you though a little bit. You kind of have a what? little. No, little no. Well, is that, that you in the middle? Is that supposed to be you? That's him right here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got yeah. dimples. I got dimples. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, you know who was gonna play me at first? Who? Um, have you guys seen the tax collector? Yeah, I heard uh, about Soto. That. Yeah, he was gonna be the guy. Wow. Yeah, because we took pictures here. At the, we met up. All cast members met up right here at the uh, library. Yeah. And he was gonna be the one. But um, I don't know what happened between him and Jay. I don't want to imagine it, but <laughs> <clears throat> um, then he, he couldn't. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. so he went and got, um, I forgot his this name. This kid's from L.A., right? No, him, he's from uh, Fremont. Fremont. I oh, okay, okay, okay. They're actors, uh, they're California, they're okay, California okay. up north. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So were you were you involved with the casting and all that, or were you there behind the scenes? I had to kind of guide them. Yeah. Uh, especially with the actors, like you know, how do you want me to laugh? But you know what was wow. so weird about that is that when she would laugh, it was actually spot on. Yeah. Wow. I said you don't need to work on your laugh. He's just, he just got it. Yeah. The way you spoke, the way you know, um, the way she did what she did as an actress, uh, it was amazing. Yeah. I cannot complain about that. You know. That's I didn't care how the guy portrayed me, to tell you the truth. <laughs> Just don't lie. Right. The, the thing I liked when I went to see it, and you guys did the Q&A after the film, mm -hmm. uh, is you, you, you brought up how, I don't, I don't know, I think you touched on it a little bit how, I mean, you, you got married afterwards. Like, mm -hmm. was that, was it like a two-part question? Was that hard to explain to your partners after? And then also, um, you did mention people, who were struggling with the loss of a loved one, like, hit you up about it. Yeah. Also. Well, you know, when, when I met, you know, because keep in mind, I used to still go to her house after, after she had passed. passed. Mm -hmm. And her parents told me, they said, you know, you're going to have to start your life all over again. Hmm. I, you know, we want you to, because mm -hmm. they, they told you me. You have to move on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't let this kill you. And um, I think after that, I kind of like you were, got the point. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to say I was an angel. Like I said, I, you know, I messed up a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so I did. I, I was looking for someone that wanted a family, though. Yeah. I wasn't just looking for anybody in particular just to be with and I just want to get married. No, I wanted someone that wanted to build a family with me. <clears throat> I found her. But it was so weird how it happened. In a dream. Again, many people might not believe. In a dream, my shorty actually had told me. She was in front of Kennedy. But what killed me was that I could see her wounds with light. Hmm. But she told me, you're going to meet such and such. I'm jealous. But I want you to make your life. But then again, I w you know, in my dream, I would be crying, wake up crying, and, and I would tell her, don't let me go, don't go. You know, this, this, you can't leave me again. Yeah. And in her dreams, she would always leave me. And I would go back to the same whole thing again. So I would end up hurt like at the beginning, mm -hmm. you know. And the reason why I'm so hurt about it, and it still kills me, is because what I seen where she was at, where she was murdered, the way the scene looked. Mm -hmm. I know she was fighting. She was fighting back, mm -hmm. you know. and. Um, you, you, uh, <clears throat> go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. That, 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 I didn't know. I didn't know whether you saw that or not. Like, you know. I seen it because of the way the scene looked, uh, mm -hmm. wow. and it looked like she fought. Yeah. And even though the detectives told me that she fought, yeah. you knew. It. I knew it already. You know, Damn. and I'm glad she did. Yeah. Even though, you know, he supposedly got the best of her, but I don't think that she was, you know, in her, in her body while he was doing what he was doing, mm. you know. To me, that's the way it looked. Being unfamiliar with the story, I still got to watch the movie. Is, <clears throat> has he been caught? Was he caught or he's still at large? No, he was caught uh, three days later, mm. but they took me in first because, remember, I was one of the, the suspects. Yeah. yeah, that seen her last. Mm. And when they arrested me, you know, uh, the detective, I will never forget his last name, Detective Coke. Um, Coke? Mm -hmm. Coke. <laughs> <laughs> and um, when they arrested me, um, they took me in and they took 
DNA samples from everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I I kind of felt like they violated me, to tell you the truth. Right. I was so pissed about it that, you know, I was going to say that I did it. Wow. But then again, the little voice behind the head was, don't do it, don't do it. And when they were telling me that, I think this was the second time they interviewed me. When they was telling me that, I seen the homeboy where she picked up the movie from and his brother walking in. Oh, wow. And he told me, uh, the detective told me, you know that's Juan, right? And I said, yeah. What happened? He was like, what about the brother? And I was like, I don't know. The brother's just, he don't know English. He's, he's like a little socially different. Yeah, I said, I think his brother just, they just brought him from Mexico. He's like, well, I know you're not going to like to hear this, but that's the suspect. Yeah. Oh, when he told me that, man. I didn't know if to even hurt my homeboy, I was mad at him. Your, own, your homeboy? Oh, yeah. Just he was, yeah, I can imagine. But he didn't know anything. Yeah. You know? His mom is, is, is a great person, though. You know? I actually knew someone in that family, like, you know, we all from mm-hmm. Richmond. I, I dated someone who was related to the guy. Really? And they told me that he was just a, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. But he, he wasn't all there. <clears throat> yeah. No. Yeah. No. And um, I, I thought that, you know, many, many blamed him. Yeah. I didn't, you know. Me, to tell you the truth, things happen, to tell yeah. you the truth, you know. Yeah. And in reality, I didn't want to blame nobody. No. I didn't. After when I heard that he didn't, I didn't want to blame nobody, you know. Um, I just left it as that. Have you let, have you feel like you, you've forgiven, not forgiven, but like you let it, because you, you couldn't hold on to that, man, yeah. and it can, it can like, you know, hurt you for long term. Like, well, I, I think that it's always going to hurt me. Yeah. yeah, it's always gonna hurt me, and I don't think I have really forgiven, but I think I kind of like backed off from it. Mm-hmm. The reason why I say I haven't forgiven is because the way it happened, right? Mm-hmm. The way it Absolutely. happened, Absolutely. and and that was the first time I ever seen like that in my life, you know. Wow. And when I seen the pictures, mm-hmm. what she was going through, what she was screaming, <clears throat> you know, yeah. Um, that that's why I say I don't think I have forgave, but I think I let it kind of float. The energy don't consume you no yeah, more. No yeah, more. Yeah, no more. Yeah. You know, because when I told her, when I gave up in the dreams, because in her dreams she always wanted me to let her go. Mm-hmm. And 15 years later I told her, you know what, I think this is it. I'll let you go. After that, I'm not going to lie to you, the dreams... Everything stopped. Everything stopped. It killed me, because I, I, I didn't want that to stop. Mm-hmm. Because, but then again, it was hurting me, and I think she knew it was killing me. Mm-hmm. The question that you asked about if my family knew, like in my wife. Your wife, yeah. You married. You married. Oh, I don't mean to ask like you. Know, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I never spoke to her about it. Oh. I kept my mouth shut for years. Wow. And I didn't speak to her about it, not because I didn't want to. I just felt like it was going to hurt her mm-hmm. in a way there where like, people, people talk, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's still in love with her. Oh, he's just with you because, yeah. Yeah. you know, Seven. he needed somebody. To, yeah. Yeah. No. You know, at the end, it wasn't that. I just knew I had to start a life, too, yeah. mm-hmm. at some point. Yeah. Like her parents yeah. said. Right. She named my daughter after her. Wow. Uh, yeah. Damn. My wife actually named her. You know, when we f- first was found out she was pregnant, and I said, "No, we're not going to name her like that." She said, "Why not?" I said, "Because people's going to talk, and they're going to say that you know I'm just thinking about her." Mm-hmm. And no, she said, "We're going to name her like that. Mm-hmm. That's my daughter, and I want to name her like that." So her name is Nancy Cecilia. Mm-hmm. Wow. I, I actually, all my kids have the C in, uh, as a middle name. <laughs> because of Cesar. <laughs> okay. So it's, you know, that's, 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 that's beautiful, man. And it goes I, on and on. Damn. Yeah. I, I love the love you had for her still, you know, to this yeah. day, man. That's, that's, uh, like, that's why I, I like the story. You know, yeah. I lo- I, I'm a, like, a heartless romantic or whatever they call it. Like, I love that stuff. And to see that, it was, like, <laughs> hopeless romantic. Hopeless romantic. A heartless, heartless romantic. <laughs> <laughs> a little redundant there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Contradicting. Yeah, sorry. 
and I love I love how the, 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 that's shown and 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 just seeing your your Q and A afterwards, like you 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 carry that still there. Like you know, yeah. when I asked you about doing this and and you came, I, I appreciate it. You, you try you, being open like you are, man. Like yeah. talking about this because I feel like this this kind of movies help people dealing with lo- like like gr- grief over. Like a loved one like that, it's it's yeah. got to be a whole another level of you know. Oh yeah, <clears throat> it is. Yeah, you know, and about the therapy part. Yeah, I, I do. You know, hope that people, if they can't deal with it, yeah, get some therapy. Yeah. You know, I say it for me, and what I said, I said it for me. Mm-hmm. I didn't say it for people to do it out there. You know, yeah. don't go get there. No, if you need it, take it. Yeah. yeah. Me, like I said, my therapy was my family. Mm-hmm. You know, because of what I lived. Yeah. You know, and I'm glad that I, I didn't repeat what he did, which I'm talking about the guy that called himself my father. Yeah. You know, um, I'm glad that, you know, I can see through my kids and be that father. Even though I don't know if to call it a lie, I didn't tell them about my life. They still ask me to tell you the truth. I have not told them everything, Mm -hmm. but I will as time goes by. Mm-hmm. I will. Like my nine-year-old, I have not really spoken to him about my life. Mm-hmm. He does want to know about the movie, though, because he hears about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and um, I think there's a time, there's a moment. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, because you know. yeah, this is definitely something you, at an early age, it's a little hard to digest. <clears throat> yeah. So what, What's funny about it was my kids, at the end, when they seen it, they're like, Dad, no wonder my friends, like, they were scared of you, and they say you look like a gang member. <laughs> I said, I'm not a gay member. <laughs> I'm a reform. It, so, it was business. <laughs> it was business. <laughs> what, what you did today is you brought uh, a couple of these that I you're going to sign. Yeah, and of course. I brought four. And we can give I'll away to, yes. we can give away to some of our listeners. You guys can give it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I appreciate you doing that, man, first of all. Yeah, you know, no problem. It's, right. it's, uh, and you're going to sign these. Yes, I will I'm sign them. keep one if you don't mind. Yeah, all right. go ahead. Um, that, uh, we're close to the end of the episode, man. First of all, I want to thank you for coming out. You're very welcome. Yeah, thank talking you, to us. Oh, thank uh, you guys for inviting me into your show. No, yeah. I, 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 like I had, we had a great time when we had um, Jay on the podcast, but uh-huh. I also wanted to have... I <laughs> also wanted to have... Uh, you since you're portrayed in it and you lived it, you know, and yeah. and um, I hope we didn't like, you know. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I will let you know straight up. Yeah, I'm, yeah. A, I'm a straight out talk guy. Straight I'm gonna tell you. Up, uh, I love the way this 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 went on. You know. Yeah. No, I, I love your team. Your team is great. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Especially Thank you. He's quiet. You know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta come out to a show. <clears throat> I will. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let me know. Invite me through. You know. Yeah. Uh, definitely. You have my number already. Uh, yeah, yeah. Text me. I'm gonna save it. And yeah. um, anything before we go? Any little last message you want to give us, or any last things you want to uh, close off with uh, for our listeners? Um. No. Just <laughs> thank you so much, and and for listening, and. You know, bring me on. That this, I think uh, we, we had a pretty good time, didn't we? Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, man. No, absolutely. I hope I didn't put nobody to sleep. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. And for all you listening, go check out Love Says Here on Amazon Prime. Go check it out. And um, I guess, you know, maybe another day, like, there, there'll be another version of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Pick it up and then you can add some of the stuff that maybe you wanted on there yes but for now definitely check this out on amazon prime all right everybody thanks for listening that's been the voice party and we're out